So four finals have been completed. It is just the mixed doubles to come. It's the Olympic gold medalist Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei up against the Olympic bronze medalists Jorkum Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen from Denmark. Ladies and gentlemen, the race level, that's number 31. Please welcome from China, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. So the world and Olympic champions are welcomed onto court. Chen and Ma Jin, the world number one ranked pair. That, of course, was repeat at the Olympic final, that semi final in the top half. And the Danes in the bottom half of the draw start Ting Tui of Blood and Leviana Lazio making it through to their third consecutive final here at the Indonesia Open. So, very sadly, some of the Indonesian fans, having seen the Indonesian success, have departed Istora Stadium as we look at the World and Olympic champions. Gone up to number two in the world ranking since the seeding was done. And as I say, former champions here two years ago. Three previous tournaments prior to this and three finals, winning the Korean Super Series. Now they've been very, very impressive all the way through the tournament, including that semi final I was talking about against the world number one ranked pair, Chu Chen and Ma Jin. Two straight games in just 31 minutes. So, to the left handed Joachim Fischer Nielsen and his partner Christina Peterson, 27 years of age, Peterson from Orborg. And they, of course, won the Olympic bronze medal, beating the Indonesian pair of Tintoi Akhmad and Liliana Natsir in that bronze medal playoff match. This is their third final of the year. And a good omen if you're a Danish fan. Is that they are undefeated in finals so far this year. Two previous finals, two titles. Well, they had a tough old battle in the second round against Chris Upcock and Gabby White, went the full distance. And then Indonesian opponents in the last two rounds. The quarterfinal against the number eight seeds, Mohamed Rajal and Debu Suzanto. And then yesterday's semi final against Tito Akhmad and that's it. Well, as you can see, they'll know each other's games inside out. This is the 13th meeting between the two pairs. But the world and Olympic champions won on the last two right. occasions. Recently in the Super Cup. Interesting that the Danes won the first.
Test. Ladies and gentlemen. On my right, Zhang Nang, Zhao Zhonglei, China. And on my left, Joachim Fischer Nielsen, Christina Pedersen, Denmark. Zhao Zhonglei to serve to Joachim Fischer Nielsen. La ball, play. So the former champions and current world of Olympic champions are now on the right. This one on the right. Four saints from Denmark. Very, very surprised. The Danes won the toss and appeared to three, choose three, 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 three. exactly. Yeah, Why was... on earth would they do that? There's a there's a huge difference in ends. They must have a favourite end. I've been thinking yeah, this was sound of silence, as you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Six when the scoring Two, was not. changed so that you score a point regardless of who's serving. Of course, the old scoring system, you had to be serving to be able to score a point. So obviously it was an advantage to serve because immediately you get an opportunity to score a point. Every stadium anywhere in the world has a slight air current and therefore there will be a slight drift and therefore there must be a difference in ends. And players surely... I don't understand why every player nowadays, when they get the choice to win the toss, they don't choose which end they wish to start. It's bewildering to me. Took a chance <laughs> yeah. to receive and get the good side. I don't know. That's the only logical way. Or they like playing it. Yeah, but if they were not against them, I don't know. But if they're they're over. Over. Yeah. Three, one. They totally yeah. I'll have to ask him that. Yeah, are you ask him later. <laughs> Complaining that Shang is kind of influencing the serve by swinging his racket forward and back. I don't know if you're allowed to do that or not, actually. So 
goes over. Five, three. <laughs> I made it worse than it was. <laughs> but but if, if it's not in the book, are you allowed to? I seem to remember Park Dubon was always waiting to receive and his, his racket was moving. Yeah. Oh. Six, three. Goes over seven five. You see the pitters and touch the racket. The shot, I'm sorry. That ball is called fold, but some of the other best people on there, so commonly playing it to the end. to win two at one Olympic Games. Have you got the others, the other seven? David, is your homework. Come on. It's late. <laughs> um, must be part of your 20 seconds. No. 20 seconds. No, I got them, so. Thank you. Hats at the Kingdom Moon. Thank 
Lai Kiu Jun. Eleven, six. Chen Jun, Kao Ling. Lai. How many was that? That's the seven. The famous seven. He actually lost the mix to keep him on. That's right. In Atlanta. That was it. So it's over. A more aggression, more purposeful rally there from the Danes. 7-11.
Love days it. having difficulty to kill it, kill it at the net. Chinese player much more effective. It's one of the keys to the Danish game is if Fischer can kill his matches and just to come, come in at the net. Not working at the moment. Yeah. Look, she's very committed to the backhand defence, therefore the flatter one. Smart. Yeah. And the good thing when he does that, he can hit it as hard as possible because it's going to her body. Uh, if she had moved there, it would have been way out. But, uh, oh. she's, she's 
change. The umpire saying, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Play on. So even tried to show where it was. But as we've seen the whole week, that's something when you're into a really struggling time and call you the preferred new shot. Don't like the shot in his bed long. Twenty. 
save two game points.
Cristina. Tu sois si bien. Second game. Love all. Play. Deciding points had a few big, big chances they didn't take. Uh, but Fischer is, is, is the kind of guy that can recharge uh, his energy pretty quickly and focus on, on the next set. Uh, you already see that. So it's over. And from seeing them one all. The, the English pair to now, it's a huge difference. Yeah. They've only been a bit and a bit and a bit. And I think sometimes that has. See that in pairs when they've not played well and they kind of, can you say, saved themselves in a match. You always see them getting better, better, better. So it's over. It's like the pressure is. 2 1. You want to save your best form until the final. If you've had that feeling that, you know, if you maybe thought you were out of the tournament, you you know, oh, I'm out of the tournament, this is not going to work. Then you save yourself, oh. then everything from that can, can only be positive. So, everything from then on is a bonus. Yeah, exactly. The net, keeping the net, so they're, they're going to have to kind of like lift it when they're on the drift side, and that's a problem. So it's over. Three all. Should be a reason for what the games did in the beginning. It was maybe.
just as we're sitting <laughs> uh, about uh, receiving. Yeah. Uh, and the same thing with this, you know, bracket thing in the service situation where they are complaining about things. It's, it's, it's part of the game. Um, trying to, to gain an advantage, which of course is not always the most fair thing, but it happens. It's, it's not as simple as that as far as the wording is concerned and the definition of a waste is very different to what I would define a waste as. Oh! But the point is, I think, that it's a way with the higher and higher it's become the law. I think that the BWF Seven, have six. taken the right move and I think that they have said no, enough is enough and probably directed the court officials that if it comes too high, you, you call it. And that's right. If it's against the rules, it's against the rules. And we don't see these breaks in the game where people are having to ask uh, what's wrong and what did we kind of get the referee and stuff like that. They just know that yeah. it's not allowed anymore. Yeah. And I really, really hope also for, for the Bamford because we are getting a bit of a Six. And not because we've been in advantage. Mm. And, and, and I must say, it's been really, really nice to see this tournament. Yeah. Go, Achi. Play.
for it.
doesn't stop no, trying no. for it, though, does he?
right side of the, the hip and not the left because players are much better than a guy to shove the way.
Spain's holding their nerve. 56 minutes this final has been in progress and it's one game apiece. Pressure in his forehand, he's going to come with that drive crush. from winning that second set.
two five. But you can also say maybe they like it from that they're not they're not in the lead because they haven't been in the lead in the set. They've said to themselves that they're so cross that they lost that second game, having held a match point, and they've given themselves a verbal weird. Much better tempo now, yeah. and more active. Not letting Fisher control the match. So it's over. Seven.
Matilda. Reflected by hitting the top of the table. Nine for six. his effort level. Christina. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, coach. Well, it'd be interesting to see if he can keep it up because he, he is using a lot. 11, 8. He's hitting way more than all of these double players are. So, uh, Play. To hit hard and to 
brace on him. That would be one of the keys to a physical comeback in the match. Yeah. When you get tired, it's, it's hard. You can also see he's really trying to recharge his batteries now. Um, so it's over. And it was after that long rally that you all have an impression. It's not because he's not as fit as the Chinese players, but it was the things that was hitting in the rally. Yes. They were hitting the last couple of eight to ten smashes, and and you used almost three uh, three times as much power on attacking the ground defense. So. into it. Over. 
for them as a pair. China has gained three champions. So uh, what's the next achievement you're going to make in the future? China已经赢了三个比赛，那你以后还有拿到什么冠军吗？你还有拿到的冠军是什么？想拿的冠军，每一个都想拿。哦。
They want to get all of the achievement, all that they can get. That's good. How different is it playing in Indonesia, especially Indonesian Open, compared to the ones, the other competition in other countries? How do you find the difference? Okay. Uh, they said that Indonesians are very enthusiastic and also like they are very warm and very welcoming. Thank you for the all support from Indonesia. Yeah. Yes, good. Congratulations once again. Yes, you can distribute or give the. Uh, T-shirts to all Indonesia supporters. Thank you once again. Congratulations. So I think the Pires presentation will be delayed just momentarily because the players have been invited to throw T-shirts into the crowd. So it gives us an opportunity, Jim, just to reflect on this week. We have had a fantastic tournament. We've talked at length about everything that surrounds the event, the activities outside for the fans, the never-ending enthusiasm of the fans inside Historia Stadium. It has been a wonderful week, hasn't it? It has been fantastic. That's the yeah. thing. It's, it's just a pleasure to be here and, 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 and just see how people really, really enjoy watching them. So not only the Indonesians, of course, the crowd is loud, but they, but they are really, really into every match. And that just makes the game that extra more special. And then playing in his store, which is such a famous venue and where some of the best matches ever has been played, you can just see that the best thing the players comes out. So. Now, I know that both you and I have been talking to the players throughout the week, and they've all been saying how much they've enjoyed this event and enjoy the fans. So we come to our last prize presentation of the day, our fifth final of the day, the mixed doubles. And for Morgan Fisher Nielsen and Christina Peterson, well, their 100% record in finals this year has sadly not continued. Three finals, two previous titles today, and they were beaten by the better pair. But they saved at a not so good Danish tournament. So I think they're very, very happy with them being in the final because they have a for first day. Yeah. Number one seeds in the men's doubles being beaten. So to our champions, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. 17th title together, their 12th Super Series title together. This is a premier super series event and 700,000 US dollars total prize money on offer for all the competitors to battle for this week. And it means that the winner's check there of 55,300 to Jan May and Sponsors OSIM. Thank you. And coming the All England champion, Christian Hanimata. Well, the great Indonesian men's doubles player, Christian Adenata. Won the world title here in 1980. Men's doubles, men's doubles player, of course. Yeah, 
and has produced a lot of good doubles players for Indonesia over the years. So as the dignitaries and the presentation party pose for the photographers with the mixed doubles finalists, gives us a chance to reflect on the tournament for the week and especially for finals day today. So, more than Olympic champions at the Indonesian Open title to their list of achievements. Their second title of the year. The tournament's played four finals. Two titles not start to 2013, is it, for Jang Dan and Xiao Lei? Well, it's been a great finals day. It has been a great week here in Jakarta. Finals day started with women's doubles. What a big upset because the world champions Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang are beaten by Bao Yixin and Cheng Shu, playing their first tournament together since 2011. They won through 21 in 21 18 in the deciding game in an hour and three minutes. But Li Chongwei was in us above. And as we've just witnessed in the mixed doubles, China taking a third title of this year's Indonesian Open in the form of Zhang Dang and Zhao Yunlei, beating the Danes in three tremendous games. So, of course, as we reflect on the week, we can look back at some of the astounding moments from today's uh, finals. The women's doubles, well, there is a new pair that is to be reckoned with in the world of badminton in women's doubles. Bowie, Sin and Cheng Shu uh, proving that they are a class act. Of course, uh, Lee Chong Wei, everybody knew was a class act. Today he won his 32nd Super Series title, defeating the European champion. Uh, Lee Shui Rei of China in the women's singles. Well, she finds a way time and time again uh, to win these close matches, but all credit to Juliana Schenk because she battled all the way. Men's doubles, as I say, it was rejoice for the home nation with Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. I have witnessed some absolutely tremendous matches this week. We've had one or two upsets as well throughout the week. We've got new stars emerging in the world of badminton. It is a very, very exciting time for our sport. Of course, this concludes the Indonesian Open for 2013. The Super Series Tour moves on next week to Singapore. I very much hope you'll be able to join us for that. But in the meantime, from all of us here in Jakarta, from Jim Laugerson and especially from me, Jill Clark. Bye for now. <laughs>